To determine the value of g. To determine the value of g, we use the free fall of an object and a swinging pendulum. The items to be used are a stopwatch to record the time of the pendulum swing, a pen, a pair of scissors, tape, a box of matches, a strip of white paper, a carbon strip, a meter stick, a thread attached to a mass piece, a pendulum which is attached to the top of a retort stand by using a boss head. Attach a strip of paper with masking tape to the lower end of the pendulum. Together with a strip of carbon paper, making sure that the carbon side is against the paper. This enables us to see the mark when the mass piece will make contact with the pendulum. By using a G-clamp, we secure the retort stand to the table to prevent this from moving. Attach the boss head to the retort stand. Secure the pendulum to the boss head, which in turn is connected to the retort stand. A pendulum is set up to swing freely without any friction. Using a length of cotton thread, attach a suitable mass piece to one end with the mass piece at the upper end of the pendulum. Arrange the thread of cotton over a supporting bolt and then to the lower end of the pendulum, holding the pendulum at an angle of 30 degrees to the vertical, keeping it in place with the mass piece hanging near the upper region of the pendulum, but a few centimeters away from the end. Mark the position of the mass piece on the pendulum at the start of the experiment, and then using a match, burn the cotton thread. As the mass piece falls, the pendulum will swing into the path of the falling mass piece. Peel off the carbon paper to reveal the mark made on the white paper. Mark the position where the contact was made. We measure the distance between the two marks on the pendulum. This will be the displacement of the mass piece in the time of a quarter of a swing of the pendulum. This displacement will be recognized as delta x. Repeat this three times and take the average to get an accurate result. To find the time of a quarter of a swing of the pendulum, we must first find the time for 10 complete swings. This time is divided by 10 to find the time for one complete swing. This time in turn is divided by 4 to determine the time for a quarter of a swing of the pendulum. Using the equation of motion, delta x equals delta v1t plus a half gt squared, it is possible to calculate the value of g. Remember that delta v1, which is the initial velocity, is zero, and any number multiplied by zero stays as zero. So the delta v1t will fall away and your equation will be delta x equals a half gt squared. Delta x, the displacement, is the distance between the two marks on the pendulum and t is the time for a quarter of a swing of the pendulum. All you have to do is find g. Having completed the experiment, the results we obtained was for the displacement 71,2 centimeters, which will be 0,712 meters. Our time was 0,38 seconds for a quarter of a swing of the pendulum. Substituting these results into the equation, we will find that g was equal to 9,86 meters per second per second.